Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Laker talk. Let's talk Lakers basketball. Lakers coming off two good wins, giving it to the Mavericks tonight. 114-103. Much needed after those two horrible losses to Orlando and the Denver Nuggets. Let's talk about it. So uh, Lakers, in my opinion, over the last couple games, I mean, we, we coming off these two wins prior to that, losing to Orlando at home and then going to Denver and losing to a good Denver Nuggets team, we seem to be trending downward. I thought, you know, enough with who's scoring this, who's scoring that. We need to just put it together and get a couple of good wins. Playing against Indiana, we gave up, what, a 24-point lead against Indiana. Ended up beating them, um, get, regaining momentum. And then tonight, starting tonight's game, I think we went down by 15 or so points. And then midway through the second quarter, start putting it together. Uh, cut it really close second half, and then or cut it cl close at the half. Second half, picked up the defensive effort and uh, regained the lead and kind of put them away. On a two-game winning streak, we play the Phoenix Suns on Sunday at home. And then we follow that up Wednesday of next week against the San Antonio Spurs. So we seem to be in a good spot right now. But so Lakers are looking good. We're 13 and 9. Um, and we got two good games, or yeah, we're 13 and 9. We got two, you know, winnable games coming up um, before we move on to play San Antonio in San Antonio and then Memphis Grizzlies. Um, but let's talk about it. So Lakers played well today over the last couple games. Basically, LeBron James being LeBron James, um, you know, putting us on his back and then everybody else chipping in tonight. LeBron James, same way, got it started in the second quarter. And then uh, everybody else chipped in. Lonzo playing good defense, five steals, 10 points, four assists. Uh, Brandon Ingram chipped in with 19. Kuzma with 15. KCP off the bench with 13. Tyson Chandler chipped in with 13 and 12 boards. That's pretty big. Uh, again, to have JaVale McGee foul out and to have Tyson Chandler step up. Um, grab some rebounds and 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 do his thing. And that was huge. Um, LeBron James. I'm not even talking about LeBron. LeBron James. He's just he does what he does, and uh, the dude is you know just he, we we don't have to talk about LeBron James. He he does his thing. Everybody else chipped in. Um, Brandon Ingram seems to be playing well around that. He 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 put up what I think to be his average 19 points. Lonzo put in 10 points, which I think is around his average is going to be uh, for, you know, for for the near future, in my opinion. And Kuzma put in 15. I think that's about right. And then you get chip ins from everybody else. KCP, I think, is playing well over the last several games, kind of getting his uh, his uh, confidence back shooting the three ball. So um, the Lakers uh, seem to put some defensive, I mean, play some good defense, team defense. Um, in stretches, uh, which helped us um, kind of, you know, cut this, cut the lead and regain the lead. And I think uh, defensively, we, I was getting on us defensively after that Denver game and the Orlando game. And then we kind of played sloppy a little bit, let Indiana come back. And this game started off kind of weak. But it was the defense, in my opinion, that kind of got us back on track. I think we just kind of locked in and started running they said 31 points on fast break so that was really good to see um tonight anyway lakers are, lakers are playing well over the last couple games 13 and 9 the thing that we've been talking about on twitter a lot is really the details of these players like um lonzo ball's scoring ability and in particular we've been talking about lonzo ball and the thing is in my last video I was saying how Lonzo Ball can is is super valuable without scoring the bat scoring the basketball and everybody is is we're just shooting the breeze and we're saying listen for a number two pick you want to score the ball we all understand that at the end of the day I think people have to um kind to change their expectations the media has to change their expectations and they will. And they, they'll have to. The thing is this. 
Lonzo Ball's play and his ability um, will dictate his, his play will dictate his market value. So I don't care what we thought of Lonzo Ball as of right now. We go, okay, he can put up around 10 points, okay, around that. And then we say he plays at a high IQ level in every other aspect of the game. That person is super valuable on the floor, no matter how you slice it. Again, his scoring ability will dictate his market value. So in a couple years, let's say um, he remains at this level, right? Uh, then his market value, I mean, his scoring ability will dictate that. So he won't be this max player. He'll be that seven to eight million dollar a year type of player. And the Lakers will take that all day, any day, right? At Lonzo at that price. And then you kind of, you have LeBron James and you build like other players around him. You have the ability to now sign, um, you know, additional superstars to play with LeBron James. And you have guys like Lonzo, who is not the superstar, but can still be that integral part on a potential championship team or a playoff team um, trying to get to the Western Conference Finals in the playoffs. It reminds me, I'm not comparing Lonzo to Luke Walton, but you remember when Luke, when the Lakers had a, a really strong team, Phil Jackson would play Luke Walton a lot with our superstars. Why? Because Luke Walton had a high IQ and he had the ability to help run the triangle offense. Lonzo Ball's a 10 times better player than Luke Walton, but that's where I see Lonzo Ball, even if he don't, doesn't have the ability to score 15 points on the average, right? Um, he's always going to be that guy, that, that integral part that's needed on the team for his high IQ, passing, defense, running the team, and then the scoring will be just icing on the cake. Again, that's how other players are going to have to um, have to come with it. At the end of the day, players are just going to have to fit in. Then we all we were, I think, on the radio this week. We we're talking about who's going to be that number two guy. We thought it would be Brandon Ingram here and there. Listen, Brandon Ingram is right right where he needs to be. You know, again, people say it's hard to play with LeBron James. I don't. I'm not buying that. Listen, when you get opportunities, take advantage of your opportunities. And Brandon Ingram's taking advantage of that. He's not shooting 30 times a game, but he's putting up some shots and he's scoring around 15, you know, 18, 19 points here and there. And that's where I think he needs to be. Kuzma needs to do the same thing. And he's going to be around that 15 point mark. Outside of that, these guys just continue to play and play. If they, if we get better and we continue to communicate on the defensive end and put together some really good spurts defensively we're going to have our runs again our team can run um, and defend we're long we're athletic and uh, we can get after it after it if we put the effort in and i think that's going to help us win some games here and there over the left next five games um, to be honest with you so that's my thoughts right now where we stand we're looking good definitely going into sunday against the phoenix suns and uh, hopefully, let's go ahead and focus on that and get that win and moving on to San Antonio. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. Let me know your thoughts on Lonzo Ball. If you want him to score more, if you think he, he's, he's nice where he is, and you think, um, you know, I'm accurate in the sense that if he remains around that, his it will dictate his market value and it'll be around that seven, eight million dollar a year mark. I don't know. Hit me up. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. As always, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mike Sports LA. I'll holler at you guys. Peace.